Hello YouTubers, I thought I'd show you this camera before it goes back. I am going to send it back. Um, I was thinking, and I didn't really think about it until today it hit me. I was thinking, okay, well if the tape thing is messing up and giving all those C32 errors, I can get around that in terms of tricking, powering it, turning it on, getting the tape in and so on. And it will record and it will play fine. Uh, it just can't rewind fully, otherwise it will give the C32 error again. Um, but the bigger problem is the whole point of me getting this unit or the uh, Z7 that was either of the two I wanted to get, this was cheaper and a good deal, um, what well, seemed a good deal. Um, it can't use a digital recorder, which is what I wanted to do to get one of these is because obviously tape is days are numbered anyway. Um, but it won't allow me to ever use a digital recorder because even though um, there's no tape in there, this is the parrot on. This is what it did the moment I got it on delivery. It does this, you see, and uh, gives a C32 error. It will not stop fussing about that. Um, I thought, okay, you know, I could even use it on Firewire without tape. Nope, I can't. It will not register sound or do anything um, unless you basically deal with this error. And the only way you can deal with this error is you open it up, comes up to ask for a tape. Now, Ironically, though, it's asking for the error. That's how the error disappears, because it's at the sort of like, oh, he's doing something about it stage. Get the tape out. And you think, OK, I'll put the tape in and all will be right as rain. Nope. Put the tape in. Then it doesn't latch shut. So that's the second problem. OK, I can get around that. The way you get around it is powering it off. Give it a few seconds. That's the processor reset, basically. Power it back on. You'll hear the tape do a bit. I think that was it there, making the noise. So we've still got no error. Obviously, it's asking the date again because it's bloody resetting it. Then it'll close. Bloody date. Yeah, whatever, whatever. So there we go. So at this point, the camera will record and it will go into VCR mode and it will play. And it'll rewind, but not if it'll go, say, if I go all the way to the end, it will error and do the same thing. Now if I try and jet the tape, I was like, yay, it's working. Maybe I can get the tape out and the camera's back to, you know, normal operation. Out. And then again, oh, you don't like shut. So then I'm gonna go through this crap again, power it off. Wait a few seconds. Power it on. Make a noise, possibly. Let's close you. No, still not closing. So at this point, I do have to do the reset pin here thing. Uh, so let's just do that. There we go. That's the noise you need to know. You need to know. You need to hear. Now I close. Instantly that. And this is the problem. So this is the circle of doom I'm in, basically. But yeah, even if I did spend a ridiculous amount of money more than I paid for the camera to get the digital recorder, I'm never going to be able to bloody use it because it will not do anything while it's in this bloody error state. So yeah, it's it's going back. <sighs> Speak to you in the next one.